pointer one of 17. The first one is make a decision to expand consciousness. So in this, uh, in this section, you talk about creating a representation of this decision, symbol, etc. And um, can you elaborate a little bit on this and how that would work? Why would doing a symbol or a picture would work? I think the biggest thing is because you really can't expand your consciousness accidentally on purpose. It really has to be on purpose. <laughs> and so this is a, an actual statement to yourself that says, I want to do this. I'm interested in this. And then the symbol, um, whether you write a little note and put it on the bathroom mirror, hang it on the kitchen cupboard or on the fridge or whatever, or you make something or you wear something. Um, you know, I have different hats that I, for a couple of years, I would wear that hat when I was in a particular state and I didn't want the family to interrupt me. And the, so that hat meant, nope, don't bother me right now. Don't ask me anything. I'm not open for conversation. I'm doing, I'm working. <clears throat> and so um, whatever it is, it pulls your consciousness away from your habitual perceptions. <clears throat> and and it begins to get you out of your box and that's the only reason you know that you create this whole symbol or this make this statement to self is to start pulling your perception um, and reminding yourself wait a minute wait a minute you know and sometimes I would just in in the early stages well for me actually it was okay I'm gonna close down a little bit but for most people it's okay I, I'm, I'm gonna open for a minute let me just be aware of you know is it warm or cold in here is it um what does it smell like in here what does you know what's what's the pieces of furniture why is that picture hanging on the wall those kinds of things and and you just open and you begin to practice opening and opening your perception to something besides the habitual um perceptions that we we live in that box and you have to get out of it